stamps.io for WooCommerce. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up stamp.io on your website so you can start collecting good reviews from your customers and show them on your website. Let's get into it. Hey guys, okay, Sam here from keycommerce.com and now we're in my computer looking at my WordPress dashboard and we're going to install stamped.io. Let's go into our plugins over here, two plugins, go add new and we're gonna find stamped.io in the plugins search. Awesome, there it is, 1000 plus active installations. Click install, it's now installed. We can click activate here or we can go over to plugins and install plugins and activate it there if you don't have that option. Fantastic, it's now activated. We can now access it by going down here to stamp.io, click on stamp.io to create an account. So over here, the sign up button, it's gonna open up a new tab. We need to create an account on stamp.io and then link it in with the stamp.io app on WooCommerce. So my, my company is gonna be called Key Surfers. I'm just gonna put in my email address here and then let's get a password. I use a password saver called 1Password, really recommend it, it's an awesome thing. And then that's just gonna save it as key surfers. You won't have this uh, uh, WordPress, but I recommend using this. It just helps you not having to save passwords and it is very secure. Okay, create account. Fantastic, so now I have my account here and I'm gonna connect in my WooCommerce here. So store name, key surfers. And it's actually going to be at WooCom because it's a it's a dummy store. So proceed confirmation. So I need to go and get this and put this over in the other tab. So let me just jump over there right now. Okay, guys. So I have both windows open just to make it so much easier to do this. So uh, we need to pull in. So it'll have this and go open to your other tab where you've set up WooCommerce and put in the details. So API public key, API public key, API key private, key private, store URL. Make sure that that's in there, the same one. Awesome. Click OK. Make sure you save this. So that's saved. Fantastic. Awesome, and that should be all linked up as well. That's now working. And then you can go in and change all the settings for stamp.io for stuff like how you collect the emails, so what emails you send out. So here they are here. When do you send emails? All that sort of stuff like that um, and how it actually looks on your WooCommerce store. So that's awesome. And here you'll be able to see more stuff. Where is it? stamp.io down here? Cool, so you can, yeah, you can do all that sort of stuff there. You can also import past orders, which I really, really uh, recommend doing. So you can pull in all these other orders and then send out review collection emails to these past customers, which is insanely, insanely useful. Okay, that's it. That's how we set up stamp.io on WooCommerce. If you have any questions at all about this process, just leave a comment below and I, I'll try and answer them as quick as I can. I try and read every single comment and answer every single question that you guys have about uh, e-commerce and my tutorials and everything that I do here on this channel. If you did find this video useful, please give it that thumbs up. That tells YouTube, hey, I'm making good stuff for my audience out there. My job is to help you guys. That tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job at that. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, consider subscribing. I make a lot of tutorials, case study videos, uh, and all these videos just like that to help you guys grow your e-commerce stores the right way with real information. All right, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.